Hey, so first up, thank you very much um, to all the people that helped us with our little carpet conundrum from last week. We're on the way to having it fixed. Secondly, big thanks to everyone who has said nice shit about Saw Myself. Um, we're really happy with this song and really happy that a few people are, are into it as well. Andrew had a, a cool idea, I thought it was cool at the time, of exploring the riff that we had going on in Saw Myself. And I thought, that's a great idea. And then I'd sat down and thought, oh, I've got no fucking idea how we did this. It's definitely got the, the guitar in it. He'll explain to you. Hey guys, so I'll talk you through the gear I used to record Saw Myself with Grown Up Fits. First of all, I used this Epiphone Dot, it's like a 335. Um, and you can hear that on the, the intro of the song. Um, and then there's all that like, feedback noise. <laughs> So yeah, the intro to that is pretty much just this guitar feeding back. The riff, I mainly recorded with this uh, full drive MOSFET by Full Tone. And then into the orange Dual Terror um, on the Fat Channel, which I is kind of just like set to be clean. And then also the uh, Small Clone by Electro Harmonics, the Kurt Cobain pedal, and you get that. Uh, Shimverb, not a particularly great pedal, um, but it does the job, it's like a reverb. And then I, for the chorus, I also use this Moen, Moen, uh, Fuzz Moo, so Fuzz pedal, again, not a particularly great pedal at all, it's like an Audi special pretty much, um, but you get that really gnarly kind of... Um, pretty much all, all the guitar parts I doubled and I used this Gibson Les Paul standard um, I think it's about a 2007 model I might be wrong, completely wrong so if anyone knows you can tell me it's a standard faded model really cool guitar sustained for days can you hear the sustain? we well, hear it when it's plugged in so quite a high output guitar and yeah I doubled all the parts with that so Again, with the small clone chorus, then um, the full drive. I probably had a bit more gain in that too as well, so I just crank that. So this will be a bit closer. And then I've got some stuff stacked on top of it that I did um, with a synth, which I'll try and explain to you now. Synths with all analog controls are cool in many, many ways, except for when you find a sound that you really, really dig and you try and go back and find it. So I'm going to try and remember what on earth I was doing here. Okay, so this is pretty much, I think, the setting that I would have had it on blending with Dylan's chaotic guitar. <laughs> very last note so there it is those are some of the sounds that went into making saw myself to the best of my memory I think Dylan's probably done a better job he's much better with everything in life than me um, we're going to be releasing the music video for it this Friday May 11th a bunch of fun to shoot but we had some amazing amazing cinematography happening from our friend Mike who filmed it. One of the lenses he used, he told us, was a USSR, like post-war Russian lens. Um, he had to handle it with gloves because it was radioactive. Well, actually it was radioactive, but he didn't have to use gloves, so I just made that up, but then told you straight away, defeating the purpose why I made it up in the first place. Anyway, the video is coming out on Friday. Check it out. Drop from the edge.